name's Mabel. I am one of the managers here at Volvo Cars Glen Cove. I'm also known as the number one Volvo girl. So as promised, this is your second delivery via video. I have actually all your questions right here. So I'm going to go through them and we will, you know, show you a little bit about the car. The good thing is that you both have a spot platform car. So pretty much what I'm going to show you is going to be across the board for both your XC60 and your S90. All right. Enjoy. So I have the list of questions that you sent me and we're gonna start off with the car wash one. I know you mentioned that when you go through the car wash, which sensor should be shut off. So you're gonna obviously look at your screen, you're gonna scroll to the right and up on the right hand corner, you're gonna see park assist. You're just gonna press it and make sure that the green light is shut off. So once again, I'm gonna turn it back on. So when it's on, it has the green light. Give it a second, there it is. And now I'm going to touch it again so it would be shut off. So when you go through one of those touchless um, car washes, that's the button you press. Now I know you also mentioned the um, texting uh, features. So in order for you to actually use Apple CarPlay, you need to make sure that your wire is plugged into the outlet that is outlined in white. That will enable Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. If you use the other USB, it will only charge it. So in order for you to, in order for you to use the functionality of making sure that you get the text message and you could verbally reply, it needs to be in the outlet that is outlined in white. All right, so now we're gonna show you the uh, park in, park out. So let's say you're in a parking lot and you are looking for a spot. What you're gonna do is you're gonna swipe to the right and you're gonna press park in. And it's gonna give you instructions. It is really important that you keep your foot on the brake. Do not let go randomly or suddenly because it will, um, make, it will go back. So now we're gonna drive to scan. Sorry about that, the camera is moving a little bit. So we're just gonna casually and slowly scan to find a spot. Actually, someone is parking, so I gotta stop for a second. Okay. And there, and we're gonna just continue to scan. So now it found the spot. So what we're gonna do is we're going to, see it tells you uh, to hit reverse, parallel or perpendicular. We are going to do perpendicular and we're going to go forward a little bit, let go of the gas slowly. Let go of the gas very slowly. And now we're gonna do reverse. Sorry about the camera moving. And I'm going to quickly show you that there are no hands. I mean, here we go. Slowly let go of the brake. Do not let go fully. Just very slowly. Now we put it in gear. Let it go forward, let it do it. It's trying to straighten out. Now we go back in reverse. And now we're comp we're done. Now one of the 
one of the other questions you had was in regards to the auto high beam. So right here, it says auto, obviously it's a Volvo, so we always keep it on auto. When you want the auto high beam, this right here, you're just gonna flip it up and it's got a spring action, so it'll go back to auto. Let's see, one more time. And then I'll show you what it does on your, on your cluster. So right now it's on auto when you hit the auto high beam. You see that right there? That means that you have the auto high beam. It will work, obviously in the dark, <laughs> not right now, but when there is a car coming at you, it will shut off automatically. So it's off, it's on. Hey Joy, it's me again. I'm back in the showroom. I'm gonna show you the back of the XC60 just to kind of show you the the difference between a, bump, a steel bumper and the steel cover that we have. The protection package only comes with the mats. The steel cover I'm gonna show you is an added uh, accessory. So I'm gonna flip the camera. Okay, so this is your bumper and this is the steel cover that is optional. This does not come with the protection package. The protection package is only the rubber mats. So if you need this part right here, let me know and I could definitely price it out for you.